Hey, it's Lala here and welcome back to my channel today in Roblox Islands. I thought I would do something a little bit different. Now, I have noticed in Discord, you know, quite often in the Islands Discord, there's the bug reports and people say, which island is this for their map? They, they think their map is broken because they don't know what map it is. So I want to actually show you all the islands that you can get treasure maps on and what they look like from above so it might actually help recognize which map yours is okay but before I get started could you like and subscribe that would be amazing and thank you to everyone who has subscribed in the last few days or even forever I appreciate each and every one of you okay so Davey will visit your island or you can go to Pirate Island and do quests and you can buy maps now when Davey comes to your island he will give you a choice well he doesn't give you a choice he just gives you one of eight different maps so we've got eight different maps we've got the hub we've got slime island buffalo Court island wizard desert maple spirit and pirate islands now you get different rewards from different islands which is stuff that you would quite often just drop normally so from the hub they will be the same as the pirate so they'll be the same as we've always got in Slime Island you'll get the gears, I think is what you get. In Buffalo Core you'll get anything from gold, iron, electrite, um, crystallized iron, crystallized gold, that sort of thing. So anything that you can mine or collect from there, that's what you'll get. From Wizard you could get um, pages. Yeah, I'm not sure what else. I haven't had many Wizard ones. so. You get whatever you normally would get and same with desert you can get the scorpion the scorp drop so the claws and all that sort of thing from maple you can get maple syrup and whatever you get from there i think you can get seeds and eggs and all that sort of thing from spirit island you will get any of the furniture items or the seeds from there and from pirate is like always you can get um, all the different things plus you know the rapier is what people really want so that's what you get from those so you'll need a shovel and you'll need to be able to work out where you are if you can't see your green dot you're on the wrong island and you need to work out which one is which so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to use my free cam to show you what the islands look like from above so that you can see if you can recognize the maps so we've got the hub here I'm not sure of the angle whether it's like here is that the angle for the hub something like that so you'll see it's got the big ice covered mountain that's the easiest thing to recognize the hub the ice covered mountain okay and oh I can actually see all the islands from here I'm in my VIP so I guess that's why and okay so I'm actually going to I'm not going to fly free cam to all the islands I'm going to show you how to get to all the islands as well so we'll go and do slime so we've spawned in here to get to slime island if you don't have a teleporter yet just turn around head back towards your main portal here and you see the teleporter hub uh, there teleporter pad go straight across there jump over here and you'll see that the portal is just over the little hill here with the event adventurer Ivan so go through there and then we are here on slime island okay so let's have a look at slime island from above so we'll have a look and I'm pretty sure that the angle we get might be hang on Oop. Sorry, don't mean to make you dizzy. Is about here. About like that. And so you'll have your couple of little purple trees in the top left. And you have your water and you have the two islands for the slime king and the regular slimes. Okay, that's what you'll get for there. Now from here. I might go through to um, Spirit Island. So we've got Spirit Island, which is 
just down here between these trees you can go through here this one is not locked by combat there's no combat here just quest over here and you capture spirits for spirit jars and currency but this one is quite easy to recognize because of the purple and pink trees okay that's basically it. your purple and pink trees are the giveaway for which island this one is so your map will have just a heap of purple trees on it and it might be look something like that maybe I can't remember the actual angle for that one like they're not they do look a little bit different shape sort of it's a bit of a rough map like you know somebody's drawn it from memory kind of thing so it's a little bit of a crude um, depiction of it but it just got purple flowers on it okay from there we're going to go back through to slime island and from here we're going over to buffalo core which is straight past the slimes and over here is the buffalo core one which is level locked so you've got to have your combat level seven and you can get maps from the other islands even if you don't have the right level so you can still get if you've just got to buffalo core you might have a map for wizard island where you've got to get your combat up before you can get through there but that's easy enough and that's just part of playing the game so we'll have a look at this one now the buffalo core one i think is kind of get the angle like this and it looks it's hard to see the hole in the ground but you'll see there's a tiny bit of water and there's like the hole and it looks like a, a fair bit of rock on it as well so that's the buffalo core one and um if you don't have teleporters then you have to go all the way around there for the portal i'll just show you that so that you can see how to get through there because that, when you first start you're not going to have teleporters because they take a little bit of work to gather all the resources to make but they are really really handy once you get them even if you get a couple then at least you'll still be able to get around a little bit okay here we are on wizard so from here this one is a bit hazy so hopefully you'll see it clear enough but you kind of get it I think it would be about about this angle maybe I think it's about that angle and you'll notice because it'll have the the pointy dark green trees on it and a few open areas where you'll find wizards so that hunt, that's the wizard island and to get to the next island you've come through this portal I usually just jump across the border here and keep going over here and just up around here you get to desert and you do need combat 36 for this one so this one is probably pretty easy to see because of the um it, it's a desert it's a desert and honestly it, it's just brown dirt with a few <laughs> cactus and rocks and that's a obviously the maps are not perfect detail so and I think it might be is it something like that I think it might look something like that so yeah that's desert island for you um what's after desert so we've done slime buff whiz and spirit all right we're gonna go um yeah we'll go back to the hub go back to the hub because from the hub we can find everything else so you spawn in here so to get to pirate island we go over this way so you see the ships in the background maybe if you've got a good enough um, device but you go towards the fisherman so head towards Thomas I think it is the fisherman head that way and then head down here to the wharf and you will talk to Hannah and Hannah will take you to Pirate Island okay. 
pirate island and here we are here now if you've not been here before there is a big volcano there so you'll quite often you'll be able to tell pirate because of the volcano let me think now I have a feeling that you might see it from this angle over here pretty sure pretty sure it's about kind of like that and it's a bit hazy but the volcano will show up a lot better on there and it's just got the water all around and the volcano and that's what you will notice mostly from the map is you'll see the volcano so that one's pretty easy as well and the last one is maple so we'll go back to the hub again and i will show you how to get through to maple island so here we are we've spawned in at the hub easiest way is to just go down here and go first left all the way down here towards the balloons and down here towards the orange and yellow trees eat something fast <laughs> to speed you up now i always wonder like we have maple trees in the game for our island so why did they just color the orange and yellow pine trees like we actually have maple tree saplings you can buy them from Cletus but they chose to just color these ones why not put the maple trees here I don't know okay so we're here now um to get all the way through here to the um all the islands you need to do the quests with Bailey the maple baker so she gets you to do pancakes and collecting maple sap and all that so she gets you going on that and once you get through the gate you do the next lot of quests and then once you do that you go and do the next lot of quests and then you can get up to Fanhorn which is quite often where the treasures are found now once you've done the quests and you come back here you'll see hang on the gates closed again all you need to do is talk to Bailey don't have to do anything just talk to her and then the gates open again so that one's pretty easy to get through so this is not level locked by combat it's level locked by cooking so if you can cook all the pancakes then you can get through if not you can just buy them as well okay so i think it is it's about this angle yeah i think that you'll see it's about that angle but yeah you need to get over to the Fanhorn Island for some of the treasures and that's not level locked and you can fight Fanhorn at any level but I don't recommend fighting him at a low level because yeah, he's, he's pretty tough he'll stomp on you pretty hard if you don't have the health so yeah and definitely take some friends <laughs> because he's, he's tough but to get his treasure map you don't have to fight him it's just wherever the X is so when you come onto your island and you open your treasure map you'll see where your green dot is I'm not sure if I have a map to do no, I don't have one today um, yeah so hopefully that has helped you see all the islands from above and what they might kind of match up with your your maps they're a bit the maps are a bit crude but they're okay you can usually tell after you've been running around and exploring the islands what they actually look like from above you can kind of imagine but you just have to look for little clues on them as to which one they might be but yeah all right that's it so thanks for watching and if you can like and subscribe that would be amazing and i'll see you next time